to Heart is offering you what we are calling a few minute warming. These inspirational words may be just what you need to change the outcome of your life. Join us for a warming to fill your heart. I think one of the greatest examples I can share, and I have shared, was the story of Corey Ten Boon. Many of you recognize the name Corey Ten Boon. Grew up in Amsterdam as a Christian. Her family took in Jewish neighbors to hide them from the Nazi soldiers who came. And they found out that they were hiding them, and so the Nazi soldiers, the Gestapo, arrested the entire Boon family, and all of them went off to the concentration camps, and her entire family died there except for herself. Make a long story short, she and her sister were bedmates in this dormitory, and they were talking about how they needed to not be kept prison inside their soul. They needed to learn to forgive, but Corey said she couldn't do it. Her sister said, you've got to. She said, I can't. Well, when her sister died and just a few months later the camp of Ravensbrück was liberated, she came to America to get as far away from that horror of those years and put the whole scene behind her, but then realized the only way she could be free of this terrible scar that remained in her was to work through the process of the hate that she had assimilated through those years. And then to work through those feelings to come finally to forgiveness. And she learned such a great lesson that she felt this needed to be shared with society. So she went around and began to speak free of charge to anyone who would listen. This message of loving forgiveness as the key that unlocks our hearts that are often held prison by the hostility that holds us and keeps us bound. She shared this message all throughout the country and then throughout the world. And then one day she was invited to Munich, Germany, where she gave this beautiful testimony of how she came to forgive the very people who killed her family. And after the talk, a number of people came up to thank her. And one man stood before her, held out his hand and said, You might remember me. I am one of the guards that stood over your barrack in Ravensbrück. And immediately she recognized him after all those years. And all of a sudden she said she had this cold chill just come over her. All these beautiful warm words she had said about love and forgiveness and all this. All of a sudden she wanted to throw up. And she was caught. She was in shock. She could not stretch out her hand to grab hold of this hand of this guy. She couldn't find any words to say, even though she said to me just a few minutes ago. Standing there, she didn't know what in the world to do. The guy still held out his hand, looked at her with eyes that pleaded for her mercy. And all she did was close her eyes and pray, Dear Jesus, I cannot forgive this man for what he has done to me and my family. But Jesus, you can. Give me your love and your forgiveness to give to him. Corey Ten Boon said, no sooner had she prayed those words, so sincere prayer from deep within her, that she felt this warmth come over her. And with the warmth, this frozen condition freed her up to extend her hand to say to him, in the name of Jesus, I forgive you. What a lesson for us. That many times, and those of us who have been deeply hurt know this, the only way we could ever consider coming to a place of forgiveness is to ask the Lord to lead us to that place where he was on the cross himself when he forgave the people who killed him. So must we pray, God, I can't, but you can give me that kind of tough love. We thank you for accessing the Heart to Heart app. Please return again to hear inspiration that may make you laugh or even cry, but most importantly, bring you closer to your Savior, Jesus Christ.